Hello YouTubers, welcome back. This is the Spirit Mongo 187 and this is another match of Shadow Hero where I'm facing a fat deck, a Moonstalker I see. <laughs> 70 cards, so that's a lot. Let's give him the high. Have fun. And I've played some matches on my phone, boost up my rating a bit and I am at 260 now. So maybe we can reach our goal again, reaching the 270 rating point. So opening hand has a jeweler's dream but no blood frenzy, but that, no problem. And what we are going to sacrifice over here is the reserve weapon. I don't think we need that soon, so it also costs 5 resources, so that's the reason why I drop it out. And uh, yeah, he likes amber rain boobs. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's just take a look at that. Yeah, they're pretty nice. <laughs> okay, he plays a, a bazaar. So we're gonna draw some extra cards here. Um, let's get rid of the crippling blow, I think. Yep, let's just get rid of the crippling blow. And it sucks, we have no Puin. So we have no turn to the drop. Let's just give him a thanks. For the comment, for the compliment to Amber Rain. And I do not know what we can expect here, but I think allies and yeah, 70 card deck. Well, um, well let's get rid of the um, Lyarian. Maybe I shouldn't do that, but and we'll drop our Jasmine. But I don't take this opponent very serious. So, but we still have to focus on playing. So let's just see what he's going to drop turn four an Eva Ascent, and he's going to shuffle some cards back into in his deck to draw some new. Okay, so our Jasmine is still alive. Well, I guess we do not need any broad fancy at this point. So we just drop out our Jeweler's Dream and pump it up. And we're going straight for his face. A tree. And in another tree. And we'll drop out our Puin. We'll enter. So he's going to draw a lot of cards with his Blood Moon and his Bazaar. And next turn of the this turn he's able to hide his Moonstalker and give him some stealth ability. So I cannot attack him. Well, let's just see where this is taking us. I hope to another win. So we can pump up our rating again. So he's going for the lone wolf. Yeah, it's a pretty big stall deck, I guess. Um Let's just keep uh, one plot friendly. We'll attack him for three. Four, I mean. Three more. To let our hero attack. I can drop out the fleet foot well, We're going to use the ability. We're going to shovel back to blood friendly. And attack him for two more. Taking him down to ten. So next turn he really has to hide, and the turn after he can also hide, because he has a lot of shadow energy. So maybe next turn I'm going to play a different deck, or next match I mean, next turn. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll see. So here's a rain delay, it's going to stall me a bit. Yeah, this, this is, maybe it's going to be a pretty long fight. It took a lot of damage, but... Now let's just use our ability here. And shuffle back our retreat. I really want the lone wolf going. Not worried. He's not worried. 
Maybe neither. Maybe he's going to play the uh, armor that says it gets some counter each each turn or something. And when it has five or more counters on it or defense or something, uh, it's going to destroy all allies in play. So it's going to hide for another turn. Now let's just get rid of one retreat for an extra resource. And we'll use our ability. Um, as Electress. So yeah, we just have to wait again. We can attack, but we will not deal any damage. And my allies are all going down. Well, that sucks. This evil ascent is dealing a lot of damage. Maybe I underestimated. Hmm. I beat that hero 90%. Hmm. Yeah, you got a lot of shadow energy. A lot of cards. So with the full moon or whatever this card is called. You can hide a lot. We're just going to skip it. And we are going to pass this one. And we are going to take care of the lone wolf. We're gonna disable this one. It will enter. So there goes my home in the brave. Gone. Oh, what is he going to drop next? Maybe some what big thief and another lone wolf. We can use our ability to shuffle back or enrage. I guess we do not need it. So we'll just attack him. And three more. Um, is it smart to play a Jasmine? Another one. Well, let's just keep that in our hand. Because it's going to stall me and do a lot of damage. I really have to watch out with my allies. Maybe I should stop drawing cards uh, soon. Because he's going to outdeck me. Probably. And I have 10 or less cards, I do not go to sacrifice anything, I think, and maybe not play any cards. And just going to remove the crippling blow. And take up my Jasmine. Okay. It's fine by me. And there is a Wilder Big Teeth. And he did not attack. Okay. Where are all my crippling blows? <laughs> Let's just cast this one and disable his shadow knight. Destroy his teeth and smack him in his face. And we'll play our champion of hero. And we'll end turn. So this could be a pretty long match. Um, yeah, he beats these, these Amber Rain decks 90% he says. I believe him. <laughs> I thought this was a pretty crappy deck with 70 cards, but he drew a bazaar, so... That's pretty nice if you're playing so much cards. You really want the, want the card draw going up. And I think the Moonstalker deck and Zana the Mist. One of the only decks... I think that can play more than 40 or 50 cards pretty nice. Because they have a lot of card draw, a lot of stalling, and with the tidal wave and things like that. Let's go for another Blood Moon. And we are going to skip our sacrifice in turn. And we are going to pump up a sword again. And hit him in the face. I oh, yeah, had another lone wolf. Uh, just 
going to keep it like this because I do not want more allies going down without the chance, the opportunity to attack because he can use his ability for the next three turns and yeah, if I would drop out all of these allies they would just die without a chance to attack and he also I think got some uh, rain delay cards or the other card that says that he's not going to take damage maybe some shadow font who knows but he has a lot of resources so there comes a shriek of vengeance when the jewel is green okay. that rain delay is going away and this is going to stealth mode and yep a shadow font Well, I just want to draw one card next turn, so... Um, yep, we're going to play this one. And we will end the turn. It sucks that he has another lone wolf. He's drawing pretty nice, I think. But he's drawing a lot of cards, but... He kept the lone wolf in his hand, I think. Because he was scared that I would destroy his... Uh, no move that wasn't played, I think. Well, they have another water big thief. And I do not think my ally is going to do any damage this game, so I think this is a lose for me. But let's just not throw the tile into the ring, so. Destroy as well, big thief. We're going to oh, use our ability, pump up a jeweler's dream, and smack him for three. Taking him down to nine, and throw out some eyes. And it will enter. And I just throw out one. Because he's going to use his ability 100%. Because he's at its max shadow energy. And if he wouldn't use it, it would just be a waste. So this is a pretty hard stall deck. I had him almost down, uh, almost. I had him at 10 life or something. And there comes a rabbit bite. Taking down the durability and my adjustment. And he's going stealth mode. Anyways. I just skip my sacrifice and we're going to destroy the lone wolf. Play out a new ally. So he's still at 11 life. And I hope he doesn't have another lone wolf. Maybe we have a chance. <laughs> but I only have 11 cards left, so. Uh, this is a tough match. Yep, another lone wolf. Oh, he's drawing the cards that he needs. I cannot complain in my uh, matches of my. If you watch my match history, I also had some lucky matches with some good card drawn. Try to disable the viewing. We're going to do. Let's just drop out. Uh, yeah, let's just drop out these. We're going to drop out two. Yeah, why not? We can also ret retreat it later. We have to watch out that we're not going to kill ourselves. Pretty drawing. And the, the worm is a nice one to play. Let's just see what he's going to do. He has a lot of cards. We're going to switch some cards. He's able to switch three cards from his hand with three cards from his deck. And yeah, that's the card what I meant, Crusader. It's destroying all uh, allies in play. 
in five turns or something. Just give it out. Um, what shall I destroy? The bazaar? Yeah, let's just get rid of the bazaar. And this card fine. And we'll just end turn here. So no more bazaar. No more card drawing for him, I hope. I hope he doesn't have another bazaar. Let's just see. But he has still a lot of shadow on it. So he can hide some more. And there comes a rapid bite. Take the camera pewin. He got four resources left, he's going to regenerate his Moonstalk. Well, well, let's just drop out a Jewel Green. And take him. Take him. Instead of regenerating, plus one defense. And yeah, if it has five defense. Um, Yeah, let's just, we're going to wait one more turn, I think, with the home. Or not. Mm, doesn't matter. Yeah, let's just wait one more turn. Because it can attack my, it can attack my next turn. If he's not going to hide. Well, I'm sorry if it is boring, Mitch. <laughs> well, maybe it's exciting. Maybe it's boring, but... It's taking pretty long. It's going to take out the owl. Maybe I should have bounced before. Let's <laughs> give me one damage. Yeah, it's going to take me out slowly. Just skip it out. It's got three defense. Well, let's just enter the turn here. What else can we do? We can attack, of course. Let's just attack him. Who cares? And turn. Yeah, I think. Yeah. You're right. I think I'm going to surrender. No. No, I think we have to get from the GG and turn again. Yeah, well, that's it. <coughs> no, <there's a> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think there. I got a new one, so that's pretty nice. Give him the GG and we'll leave this game. I don't like to do that, but yeah, let's just do it. To shorten up this match, we're going back to the world. Yep, bye bye. Well, that's it. We have lost some rating again, and now we are at 258. So, well, I hope you liked this match and enjoyed it. Of course, it was a pretty long match, and normally <laughs> I win a bit faster, but this time I lost against uh, a Moonstalker, pretty stally Moonstalker. But hey, it was a good deck. With 70 cards in it. He got some good draws. He drew his uh, Blood Moon and his Bazaar, so. But still, it was pretty nice, uh, pretty nice deck. Well, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, to comment, and we'll see you next match. Cheers!